the first step is we want to put this strap on the pillar okay this pillar it can be a vertical pillar it can be a horizontal pillar it works on any surface uh, so this this is the this is the column mounting bracket that we want to put on the pillar it comes with a long strap so it, it can cater for any size pillar up to 152 inches in circumference okay the first step is you want to put this on the pillar so uh, you can put it anyway but I'm, I'm gonna put this this, this way and you can adjust this to be wherever in the pillar if you want it more at the back then you just pull it this way to be at the back I'm going to put it as close as possible to the pillar so it's easy okay this strap goes to the back It'd be good to get two people to help you but if not one person is good so once you if it's a big pillar you need two people but if not you can do it alone so you strap it then look for the end of the strap and you want to put it right here right in this hole right here you put that in and pull it right pull it Okay, just close and then see this is the strap protector this white pad is just to protect so that the, the buckle doesn't hit and scratch your pillar right if this buckle hits this then it can scratch your pillar so we got this buckle protector so it doesn't scratch your pillar okay once you get that you want to pull pull this further put the pad in place and then tighten it. Okay. I can come back here. Once it's a bit tight, you just want to put it in place. Okay. Make, make sure that the strap all around is kind of straight. And then put that in place. You can tighten it until it's very tight. And then this is an extra strap. If you don't want it, you can just cut it away. So you see, this is close by. We got everything here. Now you can cut it wherever you want to. I'm just gonna cut it here. These are the normal scissors. Okay. And then you can keep the strap for something at home to tie something. And once that is done, you just wanna close that. That is locked. If you ever want to open it, You've got, if you ever want to move it, you want to loosen it, you've got this tab here that you want to pull up like that and open it 90 degrees. That will loosen the, the whole strap and then you can move it up or down. If you want to tighten it back, just pull the lever and close it back in and then that will tighten. As long if you ratchet it up and down, it will try to tighten the ratchet strap. I'm just going to show it again, loosen. Right. If you want to remove it, what you got after you, after you open it 180 degrees, you can just pull this away, and that's going to loosen it to remove it. Okay. Then you can bring it up or down, or you just want to take it to another place. If not, I'm going to show you again to insert insert it into this hole at the back. It comes out here. Pull it. Oops. Pull it like that and then hold this, bend it. Okay, then once you do that, once you do that, you just tighten it. Okay, if you want to move it anywhere along the pillar, you can move it when it's loose. Okay, now that is done. Okay, the next step is you want to add the plate to the column mounting bracket, right? It's very easy. The screws are all, these nuts are already provided for you, and they have. Uh, so you got to remove them. All these nuts have to be removed. They have got uh, washers built in, so we want to put it right in the middle. Okay, we're going to put it this way. We're going to put in the four nuts into its position. This tool is provided to you. So in order to tighten this, you've got to use this tool. This tool, after you've hand tightened it, after you've hand tightened it, use this.
this tool that has been provided to you to tighten it. Show them all, okay? Okay. If you ever find it not level, loosen it and adjust the level and tighten it again. Okay, the next step is uh, we're going to mount it. We're going to put the vertical pieces on the uh, TV. You can put your TV on your bed. Uh, I'm just going to use this sheet that I have just so that your TV is protected. Right? So this is you, so you can see. This is the bottom of the TV. This is the top of the TV. And we want to put this vertical pieces like this. Not too, not too at the bottom, not too much at the bottom, not too much on top. This fits perfectly. This is a very small TV. Uh, it's 32 inch. So this is the smallest TV that fits this is 32 inch. For a bigger TV, you're not gonna have any problems. Okay? So the screws to attach this TV are all provided. The TV mount comes with all these screws. These are the only screws that you need to attach these two vertical pieces onto your TV. Right. On your TV, you're going to see mounting holes at different places. Usually, this is 200 millimeters apart. 200 millimeters apart. Sometimes they are 400 millimeters apart horizontally. So wherever they are, these vertical pieces are going to fit perfectly on the TV. So um, this TV is unique because the back is not flat. No problem. What we're going to do is we're going to use these spaces so that it can, this, uh, the spaces will enable us to make this mount be further up and be flat again. Okay, these are all provided in the uh, mounting screws. These are the spaces, these are the washers, these are the different screws for different holes. These are, this is for holes which are M4, M6 and M8. Okay, this, uh, so all TVs should be able to use these screws. Okay, so the first thing that we do is, okay, we put those spaces. Okay, so we got to put that, make sure the knob is on the outside part of the mount. I'm using the sixth hole, but really what we want it is we want it to be within the TV. So you can use whichever hole is available. Right, now on the outside. Okay, that's done. Inside is done. Screws are Washer screw. Okay, all that is tightened. Okay, you can just make tighten this a bit so it's just snug, not too tight. Okay, now you're ready to mount the TV on the pillar. So now we have the brackets at the back. This is a small TV, I can carry it alone. If it's a big TV, then you want to have two people helping you out. Okay, so all you got to do is, you see the hooks at the back? They just go right onto the TV. I'm gonna put that on. So at the bottom, there's a safety screw right here. Right, so we want to tighten that all the way to the top. All the way to the top okay once that is tightened then we know that this tv is not going to go anywhere okay similarly you have to do it on the other side so the tv can be tilted the tv can be tilted down and this controlled by this knob here this tilting knob right you can put your fingers just to loosen it so that the tv can be tilted okay, use two hands and push it up or down so besides that, um, we covered everything. The straps, if you want to see at the back, try to make it as straight as possible, uh, but it's not compulsory. 
This is an extra strap, you can just tuck it in. This is a UV protective strap. It also comes with a uh, protective for your uh, mount. So you have everything here, okay? You can just tuck it in like that so it's neat and nice. This mount can hold up to 120 pounds. And uh, that's it, connect your wires. If you want to conceal the wires, you can get some a like, tube like this, which is it's a split tube, right? You can put the wires in and then just run the tube uh, to the bottom of the floor, right? And put it here, run it to the back, and go down. The, uh, and so that will keep all the wires in one bunch, in one tube. That's what we can do to conceal the wires. You can buy a raceway as well to put at the back.